Japan is preparing to host its Western allies. The country, the only Asian member of the G7, will preside over a summit meeting which once again is likely to be dominated by the war in Ukraine. Fifteen months on after the Russian invasion, the G7 will decide how to further support the Ukrainian government militarily and financially. Ukraine's made some recent gains around the town of Bakhmut and there's much speculation about a possible counter-offensive using new weapons supplied by NATO allies. It's a time, analysts say, which could be key to the future direction of the conflict. The stakes for Ukraine are incredibly high, and there is concern that unless Ukraine is successful this year, with the significant support it has had, it could be significantly harder to rally as much support in the future. China has sent a peace envoy, Li Hue, to Ukraine, here meeting with Foreign Minister Dmitry Kaleba. The G7 must decide how to react to the Chinese peace initiative, but privately many of its members are sceptical, given China's continuing strong diplomatic alliance with Moscow. President Biden, boarding Air Force One, has said he's still hoping to meet with China's President Xi, adding the words, whether it's soon or not. For the next few days, the US leader will be concentrating on the G7 while his advisers keep him in touch with ongoing political discussions with Republicans at home to stop the US defaulting on its debt.